Navigating Unwanted Advances on Dates, A Guide to Protecting Your Boundaries Dating can be an exciting and fun experience, but unfortunately, it can also bring uncomfortable situations, especially when someone makes unwanted advances. Whether you're meeting someone new or spending time with a long-term partner, it's important to feel safe and respected. Handling unwanted advances on dates requires a combination of clear communication, self-awareness, and boundary setting. This guide provides practical steps to help you navigate these uncomfortable situations, protecting your emotional and physical well-being. Recognizing unwanted advances. Unwanted advances can take many forms, from physical touch to inappropriate comments, and it's crucial to recognize these behaviors early. Advances may not always be overt, and sometimes they can be subtle, such as pushing for intimacy before you're ready or making suggestive comments that make you uncomfortable. It's essential to trust your gut feeling in these moments. If something feels off or makes you uneasy, it's worth addressing. Being aware of body language, tone of voice, and context can help you discern whether an advance is unwanted. Pay attention to how you feel in the moment. If you start to feel tense, anxious, or uncomfortable, these are signs that your boundaries are being crossed. Communicating your boundaries. When faced with an unwanted advance, the first step is to communicate your boundaries clearly. This doesn't have to be confrontational but should be firm and assertive. For example, you can say something like, I'm not comfortable with that. Let's slow down. I'm not ready for this kind of intimacy. Setting boundaries early in a relationship is essential to avoid confusion later on. It's okay to state your expectations about physical touch or personal space right from the start. If someone respects your boundaries, they'll appreciate your honesty. If they react negatively, it's a red flag that they may not have your best interests at heart. Using nonverbal cues. Not all communication has to be verbal. Nonverbal cues can be powerful in asserting your boundaries. If someone makes a physical advance that you're not comfortable with, gently moving their hand away, creating physical distance, or stepping back can communicate your discomfort. Maintaining eye contact and using a serious tone can also reinforce your message without words. Body language can often be the first line of defense when an unwanted advance is made, and how you respond physically can send a clear message. The key is to act decisively without hesitation, which reinforces your control over the situation. Leaving the situation Sometimes, despite your best efforts, the person may continue to make unwanted advances. In these cases, it's essential to feel empowered to leave the situation. You don't owe anyone your time or company if you feel unsafe or uncomfortable. There's no shame in leaving a date early if someone isn't respecting your boundaries. Have a plan in place if things take a turn for the worse. This could be arranging for a friend to call you at a specific time to check in or ensuring that you have your own transportation so you can leave whenever you need to. Prioritizing your safety is never rude or wrong. Seeking support. After experiencing an uncomfortable situation, it's important to talk about it with someone you trust. Whether it's a close friend, family member, or counselor, Sharing your experience can help you process what happened and gain support. This can be especially important if the unwanted advance left you feeling violated or anxious. If the situation escalated to harassment or assault, it's vital to seek professional help. You may want to reach out to a support organization, like a local sexual assault hotline, where trained professionals can provide resources and advice on how to proceed. Handling persistent advances. If someone persists in making advances despite your clear communication, they're crossing a serious boundary. In these cases, it's crucial to be more assertive. You can use stronger language, such as, I've already said no. Stop, this isn't okay. If you don't respect my boundaries, I'm leaving. Being direct is sometimes necessary when subtle cues or softer language aren't effective. Don't feel the need to appease the other person if they aren't respecting your wishes. Your safety and comfort should be your top priority. Practicing self-compassion. 
It's important to remember that unwanted advances are never your fault. After dealing with such a situation, you might feel shaken or frustrated, but blaming yourself for someone else's behavior can make it harder to move on. Practicing self-compassion is essential. Remind yourself that you have the right to set boundaries, and people who don't respect them are at fault. Take time to do something that makes you feel better after a difficult date, whether that's spending time with friends, practicing a hobby you enjoy, or simply relaxing. It's okay to feel upset after these encounters, but don't let them diminish your confidence or self-worth. Moving forward. Dating should be a positive and enjoyable experience. By understanding how to handle unwanted advances, you can protect your boundaries and maintain control over your dating experiences. It's vital to listen to your instincts, communicate clearly, and leave situations where your comfort is compromised. Remember, respecting your boundaries is a sign of a healthy relationship, and any date that fails to do so isn't worth continuing. By taking these steps, you empower yourself to have safer and more respectful dating experiences, leaving unwanted advances firmly in the past.